Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be actually going over what it takes to buy a house in any settlement and we also want to know what are the benefits of buying a house. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to a house in Everfall and see what it tells us. So 15k for this house, 15k gold. If we actually go, we can see some of the top houses with the most points basically meaning they have the most really input of furniture and decorations. But let's say we want to buy a house. So let's just say we want to purchase this house. It tells us exactly the house price. So 15k gold, property tax being 900 gold pay period uh, is required to maintain the house. They have 150 items decoration wise, so you can place quite a bit. And you also see the fast travel, so 2 hours and 30 minute cooldown for this specific house, as well as 5 trophy slots as different buffs possibly. Uh, you know, a lot of people have been talking about how good these buffs could actually be. You know, they are going to be throughout a turn of 2, so if you put in a trophy, uh, really a trophy in general, um, they will actually give you a buff, a certain buff. Let's say one is for gathering speed or one is for, um, you know, a damage against lost or something like that. This is what you can actually place. You get f up to five trophies per house. So that is just a few of the things that you can actually take a look at. Uh, but if we actually go down to my house right here, so I have an Everfall house. I actually got this for 5k gold. It is a smaller house. It doesn't, uh, you know, have as many of the benefits. So here we have a three hour cooldown to actually use this recall. The one thing to note is you can actually speed up your recall if it's, you know, 30 minutes away, you can spend, you know, 15 as off to actually speed that all the way up and uh, take it uh, back to actually being refreshed. But one thing to note is, you know, we have here recall the house. So you have that option. Like I said, it's very, very easy to use. All you have to do is you hit yes on it. Obviously I'm in my house, so it's not going to work right now, but you have that option to recall the house just like you would recall to an inn. You can have up to three houses on Eternum. We've talked about this as well. So if we actually take a look, I do have one in Everfall for the obvious reason of kind of centralization. So I like the idea of having a central uh, place to go to. And then I also like the idea of really being in a spot that has probably the most items and weapons and uh, resources on the trading post. So this is a great way to bring all of my gathering stuff back or all of my loot back and sell it and put it on the trading post. And then also, like I said, just a central area to really come back to. We had the level 35 dungeon here, Starstone, and then you obviously have the level 25 Amrine excavation as well. We're very, very, very close by. So that is where I chose to get my first house. So how would you get this house? So a lot of people ask this question, how do you buy a house in Eternum? How do you buy a house in New World? Well, you go to your territory standing. If you hit M right now or go to your map, you can click territory standings and prominent in Everfall. So you can actually see right now I'm level 27 territory standing in Everfall. If we click onto that, we can see I have a bunch of different bonuses here on the bottom right. These are all things I've clicked on and accepted. So on the very, very bottom, you see house ownership as one. So you can own a house in Everfall. I believe this comes up at level 10 territory standing in any territory. So at level 10, you're actually going to have a really, you know, the the capability of owning a house. I do believe though, most houses will make you be level 15 in that territory before actually purchasing. So keep that in mind. So there's a lot of benefits behind it. So we talked about the recall being one of the big ones and you know, different uh, houses have different recall timers. So you may, may want to look into that when you're buying your first house. Another big thing to really note is the storage increase. So as you can see, if you come to the front of my house, you see I have a storage container right there, and then I have a storage container in the house, um, or a storage chest. So I can actually go up to this chest and see all of my Everfall. I can go through and go to Restless Shore, see all my Restless Shore gathering stuff and uh, you know apparel and everything. So you can actually see your uh, your inventory or your really your storage chests all over the Eternum. Obviously, you can't snag it from every other place because we're in Everfall right now, but you know, we can actually take out any of this stuff in Everfall. So we can actually take this jewel out and see, oh, I've cut Malachite and I just took it out. And then you can obviously put it back in. And it also increases your overall, um, your overall storage. So if for you guys right now, you have way less storage, most likely if you have not bought a house and puts chests in, or you have not used your territory standing to, you know, advance or, uh, you know, really grow your storage in Everfall, you probably have less than this 1450 because I have two chests. This did rise and uh, I have up to 1450 in space and we could actually put even more chests than just two and continue to rise in uh, really storage capabilities in Everfall. So it's a very, very big bonus when it comes to storage, when it comes to recalling and what else. So a lot of people ask the question of, you know, really, is it worth buying a house early? And I think it is because guess what? With three houses as a capability, you have four different te teleports that are costing you zero Azoth. So Azoth is one of those main resources in Eternum or New World 
And uh, it's, like I said, one of the best ways to really travel around is using Azoth. So if you want to go to a spirit shrine, it costs, you know, different types of a or different numbers or amounts of Azoth depending on where you want to go. So the big thing to know is you're going to have a recall to end. You're going to have three house recall teleports. And uh, that's going to give you four locations, four territories that you're going to be able to go to for free at, uh, you know, every, you know, three hours, four houses. And then obviously if you're doing a recall to end every hour. So just crazy to really note uh, just a few of the benefits there. And I also want to say, guys, you can actually go to territory standing. And when you get your territory standing, you can actually increase property tax or sorry, decrease your property tax. So here in Everfall, because I have a house here, I was just going to test it out. And I actually decreased my property tax by 9.3% in Everfall. So my next time I have to pay taxes, it won't be near as much. Um, another thing that is pretty cool to note, like I said, those tro uh, those trophy buffs are you know awesome. So on the right, you can see trophy buffs. I have zero of five right now. They are hard to kind of find and make. So I don't have anything right now under trophy buffs. But you know, in the future, in the release, uh, the game fully comes out. I do expect to you know get myself full with those in the house. So we do have a lot of random stuff just kind of thrown around in my house right now. Nothing too special. You know, I've got curtains uh, just sitting around, and then I got stuff outside a little bit. Got a reef on the door. Um, then I have a wheelbarrow out back. But, you know, if you actually go to decorate, which you just hit B for, you can actually go through all of this different stuff you may want to put out. So let's just say I want to put this out. It's very, very easy. Let's give the dog a nice little meal here in the corner. Um, so I actually can put those pans and everything just right there. And uh, it's very, very cool in how you all, you know, really works. It's uh, very, very easy to, you know, kind of use this UI in the house. And then we also have the pay tax, which is going to be N. So if we hit N, we can see the amount due in four days and five hours and if I don't have that amount to actually pay then I won't be able to use my house until I do pay so keep that in mind when you're using a house you're gonna have to have you know gold left over each and every uh, you know week ends so that you can pay your taxes but we do see like you said decorating fast traveling and trophy buffs are the three main reasons to really own a house um, you know like I, I talked about there's just so many really unique reasons and uh, houses out there so another thing to note is that was a 5k house if we go up to this one and never fall it is worth 15k and like i said they do have different um you know different things that uh, they really give you a benefit of so here we have still that five trophy slots but we do see a two hour and 30 minute cooldown instead of that three hour cooldown which you know does add up after playing you know the game let's say uh, you play the game for three years and you've been using that three hour cooldown instead of the two hours and 30 minute cooldown. You've been using a lot of Azoth. Over here, we see a 20K house because it's kind of a central house, kind of in a nice spot right now. You can actually see that it's right across the trading post. A very, very nice house. And you can actually go to the purchase house. 200 items to decorate with, two hour cooldown, and five trophy slots. But you can also see the property tax rises as well. So we have 1.2K pay period is required to maintain this house. So it does cost more to actually maintain that house specifically. Uh, another thing to note, guys, is when you're trying to get to a, let's say you're trying to buy a house, you know, you do have to raise that territory standing, like I said, to attend to actually get the. Uh, really the requirement to house ownership in that territory but then level 15 is quite frankly where you need to be to actually buy your first house in that territory uh, because these houses usually are not available to you until that you know territory uh, standing of 15. So once you get to territory 15 it is very easy to buy uh, but you know uh, Shable thanks for uh, popping in saying big fan uh, during the video, I'll just shout you out since you are, you know, messaging me during the video. Uh, thank you for the support. I love that. I've been getting a lot of messages, by the way, in New World, um, just recently walking around in the server, and I'm surprised to see so many people on Thule, the server Thule. Uh, I, I do love playing with you guys. I know I've been in a couple of PvP fights with you guys, giving you guys some XP by also just, you know, handing my back to you and getting you guys some quick weapon XP. I do really appreciate the awesome support, but, you know, I do want to continue this video on and I want to say you know standing gain is going to be the best way um, to actually like I said get your uh, your house very quickly so earn 21.5% more territory standing while in Everfall is definitely something I went for in the beginning because I did want to make sure I got a house pretty early um, when release comes I'm probably going to stay away from uh, you know things like increased XP and territory standing because that does eventually max out and uh, you know during something like this where I want, wanted to kind of rush that content wanted to kind of get there quickly because I only had a matter of time before it you know, you know all got taken away that's exactly why I went for it for this uh, increased territory standing but that's just another thing that you can do when you're getting to level up your territory standing you can definitely increase your territory standing percentages and uh, continue on with that but that's just a quick overview like I said of the houses a lot of different choices available if we actually walk around town you're going to be able to see 
all of the different options. Like I said, a 20K here in the middle of Everfall, I believe, is the most expensive. But there is, like I said, a lot of other options available. And definitely every single, uh, you know, every single territory has different housing options. And you can actually take a look yourself. Here's another great one because, like I said, you walk into town. You see this house. You also see the trading post yard across. And then you also see all the crafting over there on the side. So you can actually go to Purchase House and you can see all of the housing features, property tax, and house price. And I told you guys it's actually fairly easy to do it all. So uh, definitely take, you know, take advantage of this housing option. It's a lot of fun to use and it definitely helps you, you know, get around very quickly. So thanks again, guys. If you have any questions, comments, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have not already subscribed, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video as we will continue to make daily videos about New World as we get closer and closer to launch. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.